Well, there's a face I haven't seen for a long time. How are you, yeah, Flood? I, I was about to say the same to you. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing grand. You know what? I need to um, just move along. What? What? Can I live. Come down to the office with me. What for? Can you? Can I please just go check my telegrams first? Sure, I'll go with you. <sighs> right. What? Can you tell me a wee bit about why I need to suddenly come down to the office now? I we just got some questions for you. About what though? I haven't done anything. You know, you see that a lot. Aye, but I know I haven't done anything because you've brought me in the last few days right over- I mean, this is the third time in a row that I've woken up to immediately have Lobin approaching me and going, Sive, you know we need to have a conversation. <laughs> well, I do apologize, I just Tom. want- I just want to do something without being accosted by you <laughs> Uh, as, I mean, if you do something- I didn't do anything, though, is the well, thing! You won't get arrested. I, I know, I, re I already got- Arrested and fined for these things. That's what'd you get arrested and fined for? Uh, for rustling and for Robin. Uh, who did you rob? Did I, I, I don't know their names. Okay, I don't know. If I give you some names, would you feel like it? You know, so I don't shoot them or get into an argument. <laughs> Crew two. <laughs> Morgan's noticed. <laughs> right, where'd McGregor go to? Uh, I think he left. Oh, he's right there. Oh, no, there he is. Okay. Flood. Run from him. No, do me a favor, though. I want you to take me horse. Okay. I just take him, take him out somewhere. Why is he riding off with your horse, Steve? Sorry? Why is he riding off with your horse? Well, I don't know. He just does things like that every once in a while. Oh, should I go uh, get him for a horse, Stephen? No, he's my friend. Okay. I told him he could borrow. He's a bigger horse than his. Can use it for hauling and stuff like that. Oh, hauling. Okay, like hauling, like stolen rifles. Or. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. He's taking more of, you know, like logs or something like that. Hmm. He was doing a lot of wood cutting before. Okay. So you've been busy lately? Hmm, not too busy. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so Hawk Redded. Haven't really been up to anything lately. There isn't really any work around. And shooting the odd coyote. Okay. okay. Alright, let's get inside. You said you wanted to have a conversation. Why do we have to go inside? Oh, let's just proceed, John. No Alright, so, are, so are, you, are you detaining me for questioning or are we just having a conversation? Because there's a distinct difference there. Uh, does it matter? I does. Okay, I'm detaining you for a question. <sighs> your hand, it's open. Alright, can you do me a favor and put your hands up? Every bleeding day. Right, I'm just gonna search your person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you have two birds? Yeah, I'm just gonna remove your cattleman's and your knife uh, for mm -hmm. your safety and mine. Mm -hmm. You can put your hands down. Um. All right, you want to have a seat, or you can stand. It's up to you. I can stand. I think. All right. Can you tell me about um what you are doing? Sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Can uh yesterday did you uh happened to, to run into someone and pull a gun on them. Uh, no. And rob them for their Litchfield custom uh, rifle. No, I wish I had one of those, though. Did not. You did not? Nope. 
Okay. Boy, he ratted. I don't think he's getting that gun back. Yep, he told the law. We was going to handle it. Have you been about this already? Uh, no. I, I, let, I literally just woke up. Oh, you're okay. Take the question out every ten out. Everton else in the entire state, but I just woke up. All right. Um, here's what I'm gonna do for you. Mm -hmm. You uh, go ahead and bring me that Litchfield back. I I don't have and a Litchfield because I didn't take a Litchfield. And I'll drop your thing. I don't have a gun. I didn't take a gun, so there's nothing to be given to you. Okay, uh, you realize uh, what you're looking at right now is 30 days and $500 fine. $500 fine for doing nothing? I didn't do anything! Okay. Uh, Litchfield, uh, as the, the estimated uh, cost is $400. Alright, I, I, I really don't care how much a Litchfield is worth. I haven't taken a Litchfield. I don't have it. I didn't take it. So, you've been in uh, some pretty dire situations in the past here in the crossing, have you not? I don't know what that has to do with whether or not I took something. What? Has what? To do with when, 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 when was I supposed to have taken this? Last night. Well, I didn't take something last night. I haven't taken it in recently. Last time I was robbing was, was it two or three, three, three or four days ago? When I was last arrested for it. I was arrested the day after I'd been doing some robbing. Haven't done any since. Okay, here's the, here's the thing though. Alright? Alright, what's the thing? We, we've got witnesses. Hey. Um, and uh, here's... Witnesses to what? Thing. Who did I take things from? I didn't take anything from anyone. Right. How can you well, have witnesses uh, of something that didn't happen? Will you ask your friend to bring that horse back and let me search it? I don't know where he took the horse. Can you telegram him? No, I don't have his telegram. Okay. Uh, I find that very strange. Um, that you let someone take your horse because they're a good friend and you don't even have their telegram number. He telegrams me. Hmm. So. The reason why I was asking you about these uh, situations you get in during the crossing is because um, you know, sometimes your life is in danger. And uh, sometime you're going to be in a situation where it's going to be your word against somebody else's. I like uh, maybe Tommy Two Snake again, or maybe someone more dangerous. Who knows? Tommy Two Snakes and I have resolved our issues. Hey, fair enough, but. Uh, you think it's always going to be that way, where, you know, everything's all sunshine and rainbows between you and everyone in the crossing. Well, I don't think that it's going to be that way, but... What I'm trying to say to you is this. You lied to me here. How am I to know you're telling me the truth next time when it's your word against someone else's? Well, the thing is, you're assuming that I'm lying right now, and that's the problem. You're already assuming, so it really doesn't matter what I say anymore. Well, I'm assuming you're lying because some of the things you've told me so far since we came up from the, the, the uh, since we came up from the other side of town hasn't uh, made sense. Oh, aye? What's that then? I just explained that to you. Why the fuck would you let someone run off with your horse and you don't even have their telegram? Because he's a friend of mine. He doesn't really do too much telegramming. Okay. Well, I think... That the gun was on that horse. And I ha you had your friend ride off with it so that I couldn't search it. Well, it's nice of you to be making assumptions. My well, assumption it might be, but here's the thing. Someday you're going to need my help. And if you tell me the truth now, I'll know I can trust you then. So what's it going to be? I don't have the gun. Didn't have the gun. Didn't take any gun. Ah, <sighs> sick. Look, I know you're not going to believe me, whatever I say, but that's the truth of it. Okay. You know what? I'm going to let you go. Yeah, because you don't have anything. This later. <laughs> Can I have you my gun back? Oh, hi. 
Hand your knife. Aye, Carolyn and the knife. There you go. Mm -hmm. Time to unload that gun ASAP. I know. You got one witness. I can't believe- I know! We was gonna resolve it! And he, re he reported it. He said he wasn't the type to do that. Dude! Uh, yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. Uh, but I think that gun... Eh, that guy might not be getting his gun back. Uh, we can sell it to the Dicenzos or something like that. There's other people that'll buy guns. It was a courtesy to, uh... Hey. Mm. Where'd you put the horse? Alright, perfect. Uh, have someone, have the stable master send her out to Van Horn, and then we're gonna go out there to get her. Alright. Why Van Horn? There's stables up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. See, that's the thing. If they say I won't do that, presume they, w they will. Dude, I can't believe he did that. <laughs> this is spicy. And that's unfortunate. Like, I had to kind of dash some of the relationship with McGregor right there. It seems like El Dorado might not be joining us for some reason. I got the feeling. All right, you can jump on, jump on me, Harston. So, how you been? Doing all right. Uh, probably because that's when I just go there. That's good. Haven't seen you around for ages. Yeah, I, I think we right, keep missing. Steven? I'm around doing shenanigans, but I never see you, so I think it's just bad timing. Uh, I met the Dechanzos last night. Oh, I did you? How'd that go? Yeah, they saved me from certain death. Wait, what? how were you facing certain death? Uh, well, you see, I was going on shenanigans, and uh -huh, uh -huh. there was a wagon crash, and the wagon catapulted in the air and launched me off a cliff. <gasps> And they saw it happen or something? Uh, no, but I was lying on the side of the road for about an hour and a half. <laughs> and then they stumbled upon me. I think they were trying to pull my teeth out, thinking I had gold teeth. Wait, what? They, they what? They were trying, they were checking to see if I had gold teeth on me. Alright, but they, they, ultimately, they saved you? Yes, yes. Uh, and, as you would happen to have it, Morgan and Miss Adelaide showed up on the road with them. Not running up to them. So that was an interesting time. I told them I was with you, though. Sorry, you told who you were with me? Uh, the Dechanzos. Oh. What'd they say to that? They, they, they seemed to accept it. They were fine with it. They said you had a pretty voice. Oh, compliments. They actually really like you. Well, that's good. But that <sighs> laugh, though, that laugh is disconcerting. Oh, when they all start laughing together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like a chorus. Mm -hmm. It's like a chorus uh -huh. of... I, I... I don't want to say demons, but gremlins, goblins, maybe? Something like that. Probably not, probably not best to, you know, mention the way you take uh, yeah, it sounds no, no, around, not. around them. No. Uh, and I gave them a stick of dynamite. You gave it to them? Yeah. Oh, for, for... picking you up? Yeah. I have $30. Actually, no, I have um, $45 to my name. I'm, I'm lucky they didn't bring me to the doctor. I would not be able to afford the doctor's bills. What else? Uh, I killed a cougar with throwing knives. That was interesting. How'd you manage to do that? I don't know. I just started throwing knives and I hit the cougar in the head. Right through the eye. Alright, I need to send a few telegrams off. I think that the Chanzos might want some my expertise in the future. Oh, grand. Because uh, they were really surprised Bridger. when I gave it to them. Bridger, Bridger, Bridger. I'm so and cold. And I heard Klaus is gone now, so. He's gone? That's what I heard. Do you know what happened to him? 
no idea. He hasn't been at his bar. No one can reach him. By the way, who the fuck did you rob? I'll tell you about it more on the way. Okay. I bet McGregor was very upset when I rode away on that horse. My, he was. <laughs> oh, I also need to order encyclopedias. Encyclo what? Encyclopedias. All uh, right, you want to clarify that statement? Uh, well, I may have convinced the deputies that I'm an encyclopedia salesman. And I have orders from them. Oh, there's a router in that law. Yeah, I, I convinced the law that I'm an encyclopedia salesman. I have Christmas pre-orders from them. <laughs> All right. And I have no stock right, of encyclopedias, right. though. Amazing. All right. All right, so here's what I'm dealing with at the moment, all right? Okay. I met some interesting fellas yesterday, and they said that, you know, if I could be going and getting uh, my hands on a gun from somebody else, and they didn't report to the law, they might be interested in uh, me working with them. Well, I found a fella and took a, took a gun off of me. He right. said that he wouldn't be telling the law because he's not the sort to do that. Uh, he also wouldn't tell me who on earth he was. And then uh, after, you know, me going, all right, bud, as he was going on and on about how, you know, oh, you don't know what you're getting into. You're messing with the wrong people. You know, that sort of thing, you know, just at gunpoint, he's sitting there telling me how his friends are going to come get me. eh? Okay. You know, disregarding the fact that I could just throw him off a cliff or something like that. But either way. He finally says, oh, well, well, what if I get me friend Tommy Two Snakes and then he deals with you? So I reached out to Tommy after I left. Said, is this fella actually with you? You know, the, is is he actually speaking for you? That sort of thing. Because I don't want bad, more bad blood with Tommy Two Snakes, eh? We started right. patching things up. So right, now right. apparently, you know, after he said he's not going to, he's not going to be uh, rat into law. He's gone and ratted to the law. I mean, I can't imagine Tommy would be too happy about that, but then again, who knows? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. But does that mean your deal is invalid with those fellas that, you know, want the gun? Uh, we'll have to see. You know, I did hear that there have been people in St. Denis getting robbed left, <laughs> right, and center. Right? Like, there was a group. I don't know. Hmm. No, I don't know, but... I don't... Why do people just keep ratting to the law? It, it doesn't do anyone good in the end. They don't get their things back. Hey, well, I think in this case, I was meeting up. I was going to meet up with him. I actually sent him a telegram. I was going to meet up with him and get him his gun back. After a wee bit of payment. And uh, he decided uh, he'd be ratting to the law instead. So, you know what? There's other buyers. And it's just his oh, word against oh, mine. Oh, the guy you stole the gun from. Oh, Aye. you were going to get back to him after. Okay. I. I got his telegram. I messaged him. All that. Well. Was it's it supposed to be gun? his it's supposed to be his dead brother's gun and stuff like that. Oh. Well, I mean, if he really wanted his dead brother's gun back, he probably wouldn't have said anything. I think so, you know, but if it was really that valuable to him, do you think he'd carry it around on his back? Well, I mean, where is he going to put the gun? But if it was his, he'd probably do anything to get it back. I will see. I have found when I'm like this, no one recognizes me. Oh, I? Grand. Even without the headband. What's his? Need you to store that. Oh my god. What? I've never held a gun this this expensive before. Alright, can you store it in your saddle? Yes. Saddlebags. And then, um... Will the law ask to check my horse because I rode off with your horse? That's what I'm I'm hoping they won't. So let's let's have your horse sent down to San Denis. Alright, just, just turn him into the stable there. And then we go down there and you can put it in the bank. Or we can go over the roads. And then, then we can you can go put it in your bank if you're alright with that. I've been trying jerky and things. Chicken jerky. I think it's going to be the new, new best thing. 
All right. Oh, by the way, I'm learning medicine. So you left to go with your horse, right? Yes, yes, right, it's right, there. Right. Yeah, I'm not carrying it with me. All right. That's what I'm making sure of. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hold on to the back of your vest here while I put my my jacket and stuff on again. Mm -hmm. So Morgan's a bartender now. I he's been doing that for a while. Yeah. No, I I and really like the law and the server. Sadly, but we we're, we're okay now. We 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 spoke about it like like individual like adults and such. All right, you patch things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to have my friend mad at me. Alright, grand. And that's the whole reason I just didn't want to bury another friend. Now, to be fair, quick, what was more of an acquaintance? Who was... wait. Johnny Quick, the whole reason oh, why I... he's seeking vengeance. Aye, aye. I think he's sort of dropped that, but... Yeah. Because I, I had watched Adelaide after all that, and she was going around getting everyone trying to get vengeance on, on the Dechenzos. She was actively seeking people. No, I think that girl's trouble. She is and most I tried, certainly I tried trouble. to tell Morgan that, but... That's why last night when they rode up on, when they rode up on the Dechenzos bringing them back, I told them, Go away, I don't want to be anywhere near that bitch Adelaide. In, in hopes to get Morgan away so he wouldn't do anything stupid. Or Adelaide would do anything stupid, frankly. Appar apparently she's living beside the Dechenzos now. What's that supposed to mean? She has somehow acquired the mansion next to the Dechenzos. Alright. I thought she was living up on the mountain like a bum. What the rest Apparently of she has a mansion now. Alright. Uh, what else? She's um, probably just renting out a back room or something like that. Pro probably, or just standing there to intentionally egg on the Dechenzos. I tried treasure hunting. Oh, why? How'd it go for you? Absolutely awful. Sorry to hear that. I didn't find shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that sort of the way it goes. Law is everywhere, though. Holy shit. Mm hmm. They are. Would you stick? Hey, hey, hey. hey stick. Uh, I just saw the chances. I need to go speak with them. Can you put that in your bank account for now? Yep. Yep. All right. I'll be back. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Hey, could I uh, speak to one or two of you for a moment? Maybe over in docks. All right, now's the right time. Sure, I sure. Grand. Come on, follow us. Sure. That's my associate, Flood. Uh, if you don't mind him tagging along, then that's fine. If not, he can wait. Hey, it's your sensitive matter, so. Aye. But these guys just not coming away. I I don't know. Uh, salute. <laughs> the fuck did you just say? Salute. <laughs> Hello, that's how you say hello, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. Ciao, you just said ciao. <laughs> <laughs> I like Flood, he's so funny. Alright, um, All right. this is Flood, right? Aye. Yeah, okay. He's, I think he said that he met you the other day, or some of you anyway. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he did, he did. Hey, listen, we don't, we don't got a lot of time. Alright, um, I'll be pretty quick. Just about what's going on. All right. Well, long story short, I've got I've got a hot uh, weapon right now. It's etched. It has somebody's name on it. Uh, I was gonna make a deal with them to get it back to them, but they went to law over it uh, after saying they wouldn't. So I was wondering what sort of thing, what you'd be paying for that because they're definitely if they're gonna get it back, they're gonna be paying me that, at the very least. What name is on it? Uh, Theo Hawkins. Who the fuck is that? Theo Hawkins. Oh. Do you have it on you right now? No, I don't. Started away because it? it's a Litchfield. Etched. Mm -hmm. Etched Litchfield. Nothing too special about it other than that. And what did this person offer you to get it back? Oh, he hasn't offered anything. He just, oh. he, he was dropping names at me. 
said, you know, oh, F, F, you, don't, you know, you don't know who you're messing with. I'll get my friend. And then he dropped names. So I contacted that friend of his. And I asked him, does this fella speak for you? you? Do you work with him like that? And they were sort of confused. They didn't think that sounded like their friend. So uh, I was going to make a deal with them directly. Made sure that it wasn't cause trouble between me and this other fella. Uh, just a person I robbed. And I thought, well, if he really wants the gun of his dead brother back, then I'll be getting it back to him. But he's going to be paying me a wee bit for it because, you know, I'm in this to make money, eh? Of course. Aye, right, so that's that's the gist of it. So got got his telegram from his friend. Uh, sent him a telegram asking to meet, you know, asking what he what he wants to give for it, that sort of thing. Then I woke up and immediately got across by the law, asking me what I what I did with this gun. Where's this gun? No, you know, we know you stole it, Sive, even though there was no witnesses other than the victim. All that. Yeah, that, he obviously ratted. Aye, right. aye, he he very clearly ratted. So, just wanted to know if that's something that. A, you'd be willing or interested in buying for any price, and B, what that price would be. Because if this fella's getting his gun back and it's not looking like he's gonna, I'd be selling it to you. Of if course, it's something you course. want. Okay, well, uh, you know, it, it, it is etched and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so right. it's got a personal value to him, um, to be honest. But to me and to us, I don't really give a fuck what it's etched with, what it says, it don't really matter. It's just a look for you. Right. Um, so in that sense, to be honest with you, Sive, you might you might be better off trying him. <laughs> um, but all right, but me, this is I mean, sort of leverage, you know. Hey, I can just sell right. it to somebody else. There's nothing that makes me give back to you, you know. Of course. Especially when you're already screwing me over. Right. <laughs> right. So I look, I look through. What it was a go for four hundred nowadays. I either four hundred. Ah, I what one seventy five. That's what I buy it off you for. All right. Sounds grand. Just want to know what your price would be. And if you'd buy it for that price. Sounds yeah. good to me. Yeah, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe, you know, if you tried, you can maybe go up to 200. Maybe. I was, I was going to see if I get 200 from him for it. But we'll see how that goes. Didn't know He's if probably going to set move. you up, though, when you go to sell it to him. There's going to be, like, law pop out of the, like, Deputy Gun's going to jump out of the fucking bush and arrest you. Yeah. I were going to see. I've got, I've got some people who might work with, with me on it. Um. I something like that. Yeah, I said maybe two hundred. You know, it depends on my mood. You know, if mm -hmm. it's daytime, nighttime. This, so you know, the, you know, if there's a full moon, if there's a half moon, if you bring me a cookie or not. So yeah, maybe you can negotiate. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Sounds good. All right, well, you let us know if you want to offload it towards us. All right. Aye, I'll be letting you know. I don't want to, you know, gonna take a wee bit of time to think about this. Got got it stored away for now, but uh, aye. Sounds good. All right, well, you I appreciate it. No problem. Mm. Push the flood. Say, ciao, ciao, huh? Take it easy. Hey. Take care. Ciao, ciao. I thought salute was hello. I really, I, I don't know Italian, so I couldn't tell you. But you also said it salute, so I'm not quite sure if that's how they'd say it. I, I I I don't think you said that like an Italian. Just just say it. Damn it! I'm trying to be more culturally accepting. How are you? Oh, it's like Jesus fucking Jesus pleasure, Christ, right. What? I just I just got out. Everyone came out of nowhere. Hey hey, come here. Get off the horse or like? No, just talk to me. <clears throat> Do you have, no no, you can stay on the horse. I don't want to get kicked. That's a good point. Um, do you have any space in your bank account? I can make space. All right. Well, Flood's got something, but they might suspect that he's got it. So if you could take it and put it in sure. your bank account, that'd be grand. And you're also around more than Flood is. That is also true. Mhm. Mm Aye. Be grand. I was just talking to the mayor of Ruins. There's a mayor. Yes, there's a mayor. And they're playing in a big old party. Right, so here's the thing. Uh, would you go in the bank and uh, transfer that thing to, to to Morgan just in case the deputies decide to get a warrant? Fluid. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go, Morgan. I got it, I got it in my guitar case. <laughs> Rats. 
I'm not surprised. The fellow's a walking catastrophe. You want to meet and talk? Biz? All right. Love, Bridger. <laughs> Never you know why uh, McGregor wants to speak to me. He wants to speak to you? Uh huh. I don't know why. Maybe because he thinks that you're flood. Oh, great. Oh, it's happening uh, again. It's going to be funny. It's going to be great. He, he knows I'm not flood. I saved the man's life. Uh, no, but he might have thought that flood was you. No, but and so he, he might he, be. Do not tell him anything about what is in your bank account. You he, don't know he actively anything. calls me Morgan, so he knows I'm Morgan. I am quite aware of that, but he might have seen Flood and thought that he was you. Oh, no one okay, knows who I am beneath this hat. It is the perfect camouflage. Jesus Christ, I will not dress like that, I'm afraid. Gregor should know these things. Exactly, I'm distinct. Maybe. Style. Mm. Exactly. All right, all right, all right. Just don't. Not enough gray. Listen, listen. As far as I understand, I can't be ch checking your bank account without a warrant. And honestly, you haven't been around. This is the first time we've seen each other today. There's somebody else who uh, took me horse. So, because that's what they saw. Excellent. They went to, they, sure. no, listen, 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 listen. Here's what happened, all right? They said, all right, Sive, you know, we need you to come and talk. So I, I whispered to Flood. I said, all right, would you take my horse out of town? And they saw him do it. They know that I probably stored it on my horse's saddle, I. Oh, and had him take mm -hmm. it out, but I think they take they think that you're him. That that's my guess. Well, we'll be fine. I just remember that I they can can't check your bank. They can't situation. check your bank account. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you 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 weren't involved in I that exactly. so. Sive, who's Sive? No, don't do that, cause that's suspicious. Don't be doing that. I'm not an idiot. All right, all right, all right. Um, another thing, right? So you're asking about what well, your demon crew to, all right? No, I'll tell you. Crew two was just. What? Oh wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you more once I know more. But they're sort of a secretive group. Don't want their names being spread about. Not saying that that's what you're gonna do, so don't be getting offended at me. But this is about my own personal integrity and my own personal reputation at the moment. And I'm dealing with another thing at the moment. So. Okay, well, if we argue, it's <clears throat> not my fault. If who argues? If me and the, 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 the new girls or ladies or boys or men or. Wait, why would you be arguing? I know, sometimes I get in arguments. Alright, well, I, I don't think that oh, they're just gonna get. I don't know. They might get upset about you, words, you but. You don't know the amount of fucking dickheads that come into the bar. I have to deal with or throw out. Uh huh. I, I don't taint they like Valentine too much, so you're probably not gonna have to worry about that too much. That's good. It isn't the big Russian fella with lots of blankets on his shoulders, is it? Uh, no. Excellent. Okay. Is that, that the one with the multiple squirrels on him? Yeah, he sells beers for squirrels, and he had a go at my friend for not bringing a squirrel. No, these fellas are very nondescript. They're pretty normal seeming people, actually. Oh, that's okay. So is this something you're doing out by yourself, or are, are we allowed to be joining in? Are we a package, or are you doing solo? I don't know. I met them yesterday. Gotcha. But they seem like sort of a private group. Well, That's if, I see, if, if I see you with a group, do I just, like, not walk up and act like a kind of... You can... We know each action. other. Why would you be weird about it? It's only weird if you we make get, it weird, we guess, Morgan. We know, we, we know each other, but, you know, how much do we know each other? Do you want me to fucking... We, we know each other as much as we know way. each other. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to... I told him that I've got contacts with a fellow like you that keeps his temperature and everything going on in the state. Mm -hmm. It's a good place to be. Stressful place to be. I got a smart one to be. Powerful. So stressful. You guys not shoulder everything care about at all. You can't do that. I don't care about it all. Doesn't mean it doesn't create me a stress. Alright. Oh no! I 
I'm so sorry. Nope. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, 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 I was the one that was hit. You're not meant to fall down. <laughs> You're all making this awkward. Can you please get back up? I, I saw you on the ground. I didn't want you to be alone. No, but it's funny because I am alone. That was... it, it's fucking hilarious if people, someone just walks by and sees all three of us on the ground. I'm so sorry. I tripped. I Jesus slipped. Christ, Slive. I don't know what's happened to you. Well, they've changed you. Who has changed me? What are you talking about? This new group. <laughs> one day, oh, come on. Uh, one day and they've already changed her fundamentally. Usually, usually you know when I'm going to... They said that to kill me, Jesus Christ. Usually you know when I'm gonna hit you. Usually you know when I'm gonna hit you and you've deserved it and asked for it. I, I would do it on purpose. I beg to differ there. I, I, I usually don't. I, I think you've deserved it every single time. Go throw those at the bell, ring it. Vlad, can you not? Last time I saw Henderson do that, he nearly killed Addy. Go, go, go throw them at the bell. Go throw them at the bell. Times people started shooting me. All right, there's no one over there. Throw a hatchet over. Mm hmm. Go throw him at the bell. Do it, 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 do it. Flood, do it. Give in. God, she has like some weird fucking obsession with this bell. Do more than just that one. Go get your go get your knife back. Why did you just leave it there? Do you have an addiction? Is that what they call it? An addiction? Listen. I think you have an addiction. Listen. Glenn told, said that he told a new undersheriff here that if I do it, I'm going to be arrested. So I'm going to have other people do it. But why? Because it needs to be done. Oh, I'm, I am. There, but why? There's some things that just need to be done, Morgan. You don't question it. You just know it. It's about sending a message. You, sh you should always question everything. Not just. Besides, I know the mayor of Rhodes now. I'm on first name basis. All right, tell him to make rooms. a law that makes it so that it's legal law that you have to shoot the bell when you come to town. Fortunately, she has no administrative powers. Well, what's the point of being a mayor then? She organizes and gives uh, businesses funding. I should really become the mayor of Valentine. So what? What's the point of the mayorship? I, I, all right, all right. Apparently, the law has taken most decisions under their belt. That's mm. the law, what do you expect? But I mean, she was very interested in the idea of a brewery here. And a library. <clears throat> Whenever McGregor catches up with you, I'm curious what he said, so make sure you let me know. I can just go right in front of the office right now and get it over with. Wait, I'm he's trying to talk there. to you now? I he assume so, because I took the fucking horse. <laughs> All right, so you just say that you you needed it to to haul some logs, and that I don't have your telegram, and that you telegram me. Well, I was just gonna, I was just gonna say the horse through. All right, but I'm t I'm telling you what. Do you understand? Okay, okay. That's what I told yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. All right. You do look oh, okay. like quite the woodcutter. He he actually did used to cut wood. We cut wood together. Yep. Mhm. Mm Back when there was pay and work. <laughs> he had a stump that he had to pull out, all right? That, that's what he wanted to borrow Lantern for. Big workhorse. Yep, Aye, big workhorse. So, okay, so full story, I took your horse to go remove this this stump. Aye. Okay. And I didn't have your telegraph number. No, you have my telegraph number, I don't have yours. You don't have my. okay. Aye, you tend to send me telegrams. Right, okay, so I can't... Alright, cool. Maybe it, maybe you can't read to... Well, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can read or not. So either way, you know, I think you can. I think I you said you went to... I <laughs> The lot was very impressed with my knowledge of animals, and they re they requested pre-orders, so... What are you writing on, Morgan? Just checking over things. Nothing. What, what sort of things? Just checking my notes and stuff. We're sitting here talking to you, and you're now you're looking at your book. Book and flipping through. What, what, what are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I want to see. I want to see what you're doing. Can I see it? <laughs> see what? The book? I. Sure. <laughs> Don't read any of it out loud, but. I'm not gonna read it out loud. No. What were you checking things for, though? Just 
just looking through what I've actually wrote down in the book. Just like a refresh oh, I every see. now and then. Alright, alright. Oh. Festival ideas, that's fun. Mayor said she wants to get a hot air balloon. Am I seriously here as Irish lady? <laughs> what a well, I, as I Irish know. man, that sketchy oh, dub. Uh, well, if anyone got the book, I don't want them to know who it was. <gasps> That's fair. Oh, 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 oh. And if you ever need well, that encyclopedia, let me know. I don't know what that word means, but okay. It's uh. a book that tells you everything about the world. You know what I thought of Morgan the first time I met him? What? Oh, I thought it was like uh, the real stuff. Or <laughs> <What? it's> like, <laughs> Wait, you know what? Uh, <laughs> right? Oh. <laughs> It's nice, it's nice. If it is just a bit of a square or not or something of that. Aye, he is a wee bit, but that's all right. It's part of his cover. You know, I don't know, but I'll look for you. I'll fucking shoot you both right in the head, just that principle. I don't think it's a cover inside. I, 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 know, it, I know it's not a cover, but it yeah, acts Bonnie's, as a good cover. It's funny how you're switching up on me, Bunny, huh? I, I, see. Uh, I, see. I had another bag today. Wait, Jesus you did? Jesus fucking Christ. Who are you with? What? what? Uh. I can't just say something. Aye, 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 I know, I. What? Uh, first of all, I don't kiss and tell, but if it's you guys, I'll, I'll tell you all about who I smooch. Maybe um, we should go out the back. Aye, probably know. not right here. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know how to get away with it at this point, to be honest. How do you do? You don't know how? Howdy. Flood, right? Yeah. We met briefly once. Did we? You know, yeah. you seem kind of familiar. I offered you a drink uh, and Valentine, and you were looking for Morgan at the time. That's right. How are you doing? Yeah. Good, yourself? You know, can't complain. I'm starting in this encyclopedia trade. It's Very nice. Hitting the yeah. books, are you? Well, well, it turned into a lie that quickly blossomed into an actual thing, so now I have four pre-orders from the law for encyclopedias that I need to find. <laughs> Yeah, if I don't want, I'm gonna have eighty dollars that you know I, I don't have any product for. That's unfortunate. Good luck. Thank you. I mean, you. you could just say that the crate fell off the steamer and was lost, or something like that. Well, that's another line that just leads to a deadly spiral because then they're gonna ask when they're gonna get the next one. What how to print? They're gonna want me to find the newest edition of a different series. It's, it's, this lie goes nowhere unless I just get them the dictionary and play into it. Like right, I thought it was an encyclopedia. Yeah, that. But yeah, I've been uh, running with some amateurs, honestly. But I kind of whipped them into shape this well, time. Well, it sounds. Sure I was gonna better. say it sounds like you've sort of gone away from two bank robbery scot free. Yeah, I mean, I have. Two and I. Two and oh. <laughs> Nobody knows it's me still. It's because I talk like this. Nobody expects. I was not expecting that. Well, I think that's what he just said. That's why he's talking like that. Alright, um... Who is that? I think I told Morgan this, but I haven't told any of you this, but no. I got three bundles of dynamite on standby, too. <laughs> I've got one as well. That's grand, though. <clears throat> I need to go yeah. check my telegrams. I'll be right back. All right. All right. Who were you doing the... Uh, you're not going to believe me when I tell you. Coming down to Emerald Ranch Saloon. We're having a couple drinks in there, and let me tell you, it's interesting to say the least. Quick, quick now, Bridger. Yeah, All right. Oh, okay. I've got to go make a meeting. Um... Uh, Go ahead and telegram me if you're around doing something. All right? All right. So I'm going with you? Uh, not, not this time. Okay. 